of the book of Mark in chapter 8, verse 18, where he is saying, You have eyes, but you see not, and you have ears, but you hear not. This is a powerful teaching because he's saying in substance that most of the time what you're seeing and hearing are your own thoughts. Most of the time what you're seeing or hearing are the thoughts of society. Most of the time what you're seeing and hearing are parental thoughts. Thoughts that have lodged within you. Parental fantasies, societal fantasies. Fantasies you have about yourself that may not be true. Self-loathing. Not a high degree of self-acceptance. You have all of these thoughts about reality. And so you have eyes, but you see not. You have ears, but you hear not. Because all you're seeing and hearing are thought forms masquerading as the truth. And you think that's real. Not you. Not here. Not now. We are activating something within you that you can begin to see not with the eye, hear not with the ear, but to see with divine consciousness. And that's why you pray. That's why you meditate. That's why you vision. That's why you serve. That's why you sing. That's why you become generous so that ultimately there is an availability of pinprick opening and you begin to see, oh, I was just seeing my own thoughts. I wasn't seeing that which is real. What is real are the thoughts of God. It's called inspiration. That when the, the thought of God captures you and you're inspired beyond your self-imposed prisons and the mental shackles that have been carrying you down, you begin to see, oh my God, the cattle on a thousand hills are surrounding me and belong to me in substance. You begin to see that the ground upon which you are standing is holy. You begin to see that you are the beloved of the presence and the power and the love of God Almighty. There is a moment where no longer do you have eyes and not see. You're seeing with pure consciousness, but you have to have a level of sincerity and consistency for the breakthrough that allows for the eternal to break into time as your life and you stop carrying around the crutches of your mental prisons and the coping mechanisms that you use to not feel the pain and the agony of not being in bliss most of the time. Oh my God, you have eyes but can't see, but not today.